Hey everyone, um, I'm getting ready to head on out on my uh, travel blog now. So I just wanted to uh, do a quick intro to the video. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing the Lewis and Clark uh, Historic Trails today. I've been doing quite a bit of research on it and it seems like it's going to be pretty interesting. So uh, hopefully everybody likes it and I'll see you in just a second. All right, everybody, here we are. Uh, this is where we will start our journey. Um, the Lewis and Clark Confluence Tower, which stands 180 feet tall. It was first started in 2002, and it was completed in 2010. It took uh, eight years to build. Um, this place here that we're standing has uh, the honor of being considered the expedition's site number one because this is where Lewis and Clark uh, actually started their journey. Um, they started in 1804, um, May 14th, 1804, but they uh, actually came to uh, this area in the winter of, the beginning of winter of 1803 because they were going to, uh, they decided to camp out here and um, we're going to try to find the cabins that they uh, were at. Um, which should be just about a mile down. Uh, but they started their journey here, and their journey went about, what was it, about 3,700 miles. Um, it says that uh, President Thomas Jefferson appointed his secretary, uh, Captain Meriwether Lewis, to find the most direct and practical, uh, practicable uh, water communication across this continent for the purpose, purposes of co commerce. Lewis recruited William Clark, a former Army officer, to help lead an expedition to navigate river routes connecting the Mississippi to the Pacific Ocean. Their path westward covered roughly 3,700 miles. And on May 14, 1804, they, they set out from Camp River Du Bois at 4 o'clock p.m. and proceeded up the Missouri River under sail, a cloudy, rainy, and windy day uh, from the northeast, men in high spirits, the view is looking north to the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. The keel boat, lined with excited men, has just swung out of the Mississippi's current and into the Missouri's. So, as you can see, we're coming up on the confluence tower now. This thing... Got some people walking over here. Got some pretty cool artwork here. Lewis. Got Lewis, who said the mouth of the River Du Bois is to be considered the point of departure. Clark, who said we set out and proceeded on a, on under a gentle uh, breeze up to Missouri, May 14th, 1804. Just kind of walking along here, seeing what we can see. They have a few uh, historical markers along here that I was going to take a look at. Um, some interesting uh, notes that I wanted to point out besides that low flying plane. Um, that uh, Hartford, which, where this is located, uh, is uh, pretty rich in uh, uh, Hollywood history as well. Um, apparently, um, uh, his name was uh, Clint Walker which some, I'm not sure who exactly uh, would know who Clint Walker would be, um, but uh, he, uh, he was in the TV show Cheyenne, and he was uh, also in a couple of movies uh, that you guys probably heard of called The Dirty Dozens, and my ultimate favorite uh, epic movie of all time, and that would be The Ten Commandments. Which I was pretty, was pretty cool to see. Talking about the different uh, plants and uh, uh, 
and it's at, at about 3,400 miles of uh, nothing but scenic, uh, scenic stuff. This is the meeting of the great rivers. Uh, this uh, right over here, we got uh, Route Three, which uh, was at the time when Hartford was uh, uh, when Hartford was. Uh, made into an actual township, uh, they uh, used Route 3 as the main means for, uh, uh, for transportation. Uh, Hartford actually has a lot of uh, history with the fact that um, it also uh, um, it, uh, it was originally founded in uh, 19, uh, 1920 and uh, under the name Hartford, but uh, it had a big, uh, a big impact on uh, on commerce in this area because uh, the mighty Mississippi is, of course, uh, right behind me. It's uh, right past uh, this hill here, and what they would do is they had the railroad tracks that went from Hartford straight down to the river, and so when the steamboats and the uh, commerce boats came in, they would be able to offload there put it onto the, the railroads and the railroads from here stretch from to all four corners of the United States. So they could take it to New York, Chicago, California, wherever they needed to take it. So this was a, a hub of uh, commerce activity in the early 1900s and late 1800s. Um, the best part about this is that uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to call this area home and it's been one of the one of the best places I've ever lived. Um, and right here it's showing the, uh, the route of the Lewis and Clark expedition. It shows that it started right here in, uh, in Alton, or in Hartford. And then it went up through, all the way up. And so yeah, it, it went a whole bunch of different places actually it uh i actually have it right here where through all they went and uh if you indulge me for a second i will go ahead and uh, pull that out yeah this is my first travel blog so uh please uh, forgive me for not uh having the being 100% prepared. I'll be more prepared next time. It's just this is something that I really wanted to do. Um, but uh, it says that, that they went from the grass, the vast grasslands of the Great Plains, the meeting of the two rivers, which is right where we are, uh, to the valley of the Columbia uh, River, the imposing peaks of the Rocky Mountains. So they went from sea to shining sea. And this right here is what I'm looking for. It's uh, the uh, it's the cabin that they built. It says Lewis and Clark used softwoods that could be found along the river, such as cottonwood, for the construction of Camp River Du Bois. The uh, the camp as a temporary structure may have been constructed and constructed entirely of wood and without nails or metal of any kind, and was their custom during this period. During winter, sweet cottonwood bark was used by the Mandan tribe to feed their horses. Later in the expedition, the corpse used large cottonwoods to build wagons, both the bodies and the wheels. And uh, this was a big site for the uh, for Native Americans as well. Uh, that's going to be another one of my videos coming up. Uh, part of this is also Cahokia Mounds, which is pretty famous in this area I've been to many, many times. Uh, the climb up the mounds is kind of uh, kind of long. Uh, it's got thousands upon thousands of steps, and uh, I can tell you right now that uh, that that's one of the longest uh, trips that uh, I've actually had the honor of taking. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way back this way. Um, I'm probably going to. Uh, cut the video and then uh, come back to it, knowing that I can do quick editing.
that I can uh, uh, start back where hopefully if I can find those uh, cabins and then uh, bring that to you and then uh, bring you a little bit more history about the area. And here we are, we found them. <coughs> We've got the uh, They're pretty old. But these are the original log cabins that were. That were I believe used by Lewis and Clark while they were here for the summer. I'm oh, sorry, for the winter. Just waiting for someone in that visitor center over there to come on and say I'm not supposed to be here. But I'm going to film until they tell me not to. I think this is pretty cool. It's pretty much what it looks like. shed of some kind. Maybe for the horses. That's all over there. We got one back there. Here's a picture of what it looks like from the inside. I've actually lived here for 34 years and I've never, never been here. My wife has, but I never have. And there goes the drone. It's all a But uh, it's hard to tell if I'm on uh, camera this way or not, but um, uh, if I'm not, I said bear with me. But uh, there's a, a lot of history here in uh, the town of Hartford, and I'm glad I got a chance to uh, actually uh, take part in it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go ahead and walk the sidewalk. Um, probably be a lot easier than walking the muddy ground because we got that bad snow uh, last week. And here it is. It's in the 50s, almost 60 degrees right now. So uh, that's St. Louis weather for you. But. Um, it's one of those things where I never took advantage of, sorry, loud engine, uh, never took advantage of where I lived, and I'm going to start taking advantage of it. That's what these travel vlogs are going to be about. Um, I'm sorry that if this wasn't uh, too interesting for my first, uh, first vlog, but I just want to say that I am very grateful to be able to be able to do this and that I'm hoping that uh, my future videos will be just as entertaining or more if this one wasn't. Um, I know that uh, I've been uh, wanting to do the Lincoln Douglas uh, debate spot. Lincoln Douglas debate spot in Alton is going to be one of the places I'm going to stop. Um, uh, Alton is going to be quite a few videos because there's just so much to see there. They got the Robert Wadlow uh, memorial statue and grave. They got his house there. Uh, if it's still there, I heard that they were thinking about tearing it down, which I don't think would be a good idea because it's a national landmark. 
or at least it's a historical landmark for us. But um, I'm hoping that sometime uh, within the next couple of weeks I can put out a few more of these. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, it's rich with history, uh, a lot of haunted history actually. Uh, my brother is going to be uh, tackling that stuff because I'm not really wanting to put the haunted type stuff on here if I can help it. But I'm heading back to the car now. Uh, I've been out here for a little over an hour. I've uh, got a bunch of stuff that I have to finish up today, but I just wanted to say that I appreciate everyone. Everyone for tuning in. Before I go, there's one last thing I wanted to to show you uh, that I just saw. Camp River Du Bois, December 7th, 12th, 1803. May 14th, 1804, Bruce and Clark Voyage of Discovery and Remembrance of Those Preserving and Retelling the Story and in Celebration of Those Who Helped Make It Possible Together, We Proceeded On. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and head on back to the car now, so just want to thank you everyone for uh, tuning in and I hope that... Oh, look at that, another thing real fast. <laughs> So, it starts right here. Hopefully you guys can see it better than I can on my screen. It says, they arrived in St. Louis on September 23rd, 1806. And then they moved on down. They had their first council with uh, with uh, Indians right here in Aug on August 3rd, 1804 and Sergeant Floyd uh, passes away on August 20th, 1804 right there by in Sioux City and then it keeps coming up confrontation with the, the Teton Sioux September 25th to the 28th, 1804. Lewis and Clark parties rejoined on August 12th, 1806. ahead and end the video I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's been supporting me throughout uh, all my videos and those who are supporting me in my new expedition I guess you can call it with uh, doing the travel vlogs and I just wanted to say that I appreciate each and every one of you that that is uh, watching my videos commenting liking sharing all them and uh, a big thank you to Trilogy Media for all, all of their support, especially uh, during their 18 hour live stream whenever I mentioned uh, that I was going to be starting this and doing the Seuss and Clark uh, expedition uh, one first and Brandon seemed pretty excited about it. He's like, he definitely wants to see it. So uh, Brandon, hopefully you got, you liked it too. But uh, I'm back to the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this one and say thank you to everyone. And I love all you guys. And I hope that uh, I can have your continued support uh, for the rest of my videos. So see you guys. Hey everyone, I um, just want to do uh, share an interesting side note um, that uh, um, I'm holding it down low so I'm not distracted while I'm driving. Um, that uh, the Bill Murray movie, uh, Larger Than Life, was actually filmed here in Hartford. Um, and I was going to show you where that was. 
uh, it's kind of cool. I remember whenever they first uh, were filming it, they had a, uh, his, uh, his trailer was parked in an alley, or in a parking lot not too far away. But um, uh, here's where uh, it originally was. And uh, I'm gonna try to bring it to you the, the way that they shot it in the movie. But uh, pretty much it was, started off with that and then it like panned over to those railroad tracks over there where Bill Murray and his uh, elephant were traveling. So I thought that was kind of cool. Hopefully I shot that right. It's hard to tell. I did that backwards. Let me close that window because we find it's kind of loud right there. But uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, the history there. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick uh, uh, ending note. Um, I was originally going to wear my uh, Trilogy Media uh, hoodie for this to promote them uh, for all the things that uh, that they always, you know, do for us and supporting us. But uh, apparently, my my cat Mary decided to use it as a bed last night, and it is now it's supposed to be black. It is now white. So and. Uh, I couldn't find the lint roller to get all of it off, so I wore my Kansas City one today. But, um, yeah, this has been uh, a pretty interesting day so far. Uh, I was originally supposed to have uh, my son come with me to enjoy this, but uh, he ended up not coming along. And then I was supposed to have my twin brother come along with me to, uh, to enjoy this with me, but he ended up not being able to come up. Uh, he has to go to his physical therapy uh, at three, so uh, he wasn't able to get the time to come out, but it's all good. Uh, it's kind of cool that I did my first one on solo, just me. Um, and I could tell that this was definitely my first one because of how nervous I was about going places. Wondering, uh oh, am I gonna get in trouble for going here? Cause I read online that some of the places are closed to the public. But uh, that's mainly the Confluence Tower uh, we can't. I couldn't go up that, which kind of sucked because that would have been cool views. You could see all the way to St. Louis and the Gateway Arch and all that. Great view of the Mississippi River. Uh, and I was planning on doing all that, but that's closed right now. Uh, they did have tours that they were doing, and um, I don't think they're doing those right now either. But if they ever decide to start doing the tours again, uh, I'm probably going to book myself on one of those tours and uh, record a video because I'll probably get a lot more information that way uh, Plus I've always wanted to do a tour video um, I might do a tour video of the one in Alton because they have a really good one uh, The only thing is I was going to be splitting Alton up into like four or five videos because of all the different things over there uh, I didn't want to put them all into one video otherwise I'll run out of material around here um, I'm still hoping to go to uh, like Springfield and uh, places uh, farther away. My dream spot to go would be the Ronald Reagan uh, Museum and uh, uh, oh, sorry, Ronald Reagan Library uh, in California. That's one place I've, I really, really want to go and film a vlog of, but uh, that's going to be a while for that one. Um, but I'm going to be uh, putting the PayPal uh, link down below um, for. Uh, anyone who might want to uh, help donate uh, to the cause to help with like uh, gas and expenses to go around uh, but uh, like I said last time on my introduction video uh, a couple days ago that you know it's not expected it's not forced you guys don't have to you know donate anything just being here to support me this whole time has been you know has been a miracle for me because Whenever I first started out, I had two subscribers, and that was my wife and my brother, and that was it. And now I'm up to about 50 subscribers, and I'm trying to get that up to 100. I'm hoping this new content might bring some uh, new people in. Um, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Just wanted to uh, do an ending to the video. Um, I'm going to be taking this home and. Uh, uh, editing it. Uh, I have editing software that my son uh, told me to download on my phone. He says it's what he uses for his stuff, so I'm going to try it. 
I'm hoping I could put videos together because I've got like three or four different videos I need to put together and I have a few pictures that I want to put in. Uh, it's like uh, uh, past and now. Like what it looked like in the past and what it looks like now and all that stuff. And uh, so I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to do that. Uh, but uh, he claims that I'll be able to. So we will see. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head on out. Uh, I have to go pick the wife up from work here soon. Uh, so I will talk to everyone later. And I hope that uh, if I'm able to upload the video, if it works out fine, that everybody enjoys it. And that uh, you guys make sure to let me know in the comments uh, what you liked, what you didn't like what I didn't put in, what I should have put in, seeing as this is my first one, I need all the constructive criticism I can get so I can know how to make it better. Uh, you know, just try not to be too mean about it because I've seen a few of the uh, constructive criticism uh, posts in the past. But, yeah, I'm, I just hit five minutes of doing this and it was supposed to be just a quick one. So, uh, see you guys later. I love you guys and I uh, hope you guys all have a wonderful day.